Here is a case in which you are looking at something that looks like a grape. It looks like it has a very shiny surface. It's yellowish, grayish, uh, looks kind of slimy. And uh, this happened to be uh, originating in a nasal, uh, in the nasal cavity. Not the external nose, but the nasal cavity. These are nasal polyps. They are very common. They are swollen, boggy blebs of the normal nasal mucosa uh, in which the tissue is very, very watery, edematous. And it is not a true neoplasm in that it is not a proliferation of uh, cells of any type, but rather is a case in which you have increased fluid within the mucosa which causes it to become boggy and tumor-like and grape-like. And here's what it might look like microscopically. You could see that it has the normal type of upper respiratory mucosa. I think you could recognize this as being a pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. I think you can recognize the little cilia out here. I think you could recognize the goblet cells out here. And I think you could recognize that the connective tissue directly underlying the epithelium is just loaded with water. It also may be uh, showing in some increase in inflammatory cells. Because these are often associated with allergies, you often see uh, increased eosinophils within this uh, stroma as well. There's one, there's one, there's one, and e there's one, there's one. So eosinophils uh, as well as uh, inflammatory cells of other types, uh, but the main feature is the fact that the uh, lamina propria of this mucosa, the portion underlying the epithelium, is very, very, very swollen with water. Uh, allergies, uh, chronic allergies, are the most common cause, and that's evidence from the fact that we see all these eosinophils, and they are really not true neoplasms. Most polyps, or many polyps, like hyperplastic polyps of the colon or nasal polyps, may look like tumors grossly, but they are not true neoplasms. Thank you very much.